Hello everyone, peace of the Lord Jesus Christ with everybody. This is Surah 19 verse number 19 and supposedly this is the angel is coming to Mary to tell her that she will have a baby. But the story in here have very huge mistakes. I will mention one by one and I will start with this verse. He said, which mean the angel, Gabriel, Nay, I am only a messenger from the Lord. The Lord, which means in Islam, Allah. Now, what is between the two marks in here? This is not in the Quran. This is Muslims, they add. And for me, this is not a translation. This is a way uh, of Muslims to play games. Like when somebody don't speak English, speak Arabic, he will see this and he will, he will think this is part of the Quran. You know, when you translate, you translate as it is giving the meaning you know with the words but you do not add words not exist to announce it doesn't say to announce I change any Muslim to show me where it says that it says nay I am uh, only a messenger from the Lord who is saying that the angel Gabriel to do what to thee which means to her to give her what the gift gift of what a holy son so in here you know the mistake is the following as long the, the the angel is just a messenger who will do delivery of a message he cannot say uh, the word li'ahiba you know it's mean to give to give you know let me explain to you more to to make the idea clear you know when when somebody from uh, somebody sending you a gift uh, uh, someone else deliver it which mean like let us say your mom she live in different state and she sent the gift uh, by FedEx. Now FedEx guy, he is not the one who will give you the gift. He is the one who will deliver the gift. The word Ahiba is the one who owned the gift and he gave it to someone in Arabic. Not the one who will deliver. Is, is the idea clear? Like if somebody gave me uh, 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 you know uh, a DVD and he say hey can you carry this DVD as a gift for Pearl's Day for someone and I go there I cannot claim that this is my gift when I see you I will say hey this is uh, uh, the gift of uh, Jimmy he sent it to you with me I cannot say I am here to Ahiba Leka to give you my gift this is not my gift so Hiba or the word uh, 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 Wahaba, it is the one who do it himself and he own the thing he is giving not someone he is doing delivery I hope the idea is clear so and here there is a mistake in the Quran this is number one the angel he cannot use this word because he is not the one who is uh, 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 giving Jesus and he has nothing to do with it he is just a messenger to tell that's all that's what the Quran is saying and here it doesn't make it doesn't match and here it sounds like he is not only sound it's it this is how it says he is the one who is giving jesus to mary what he was carrying jesus like what in a box doing deliver what so you know the word ahib it's only come as i give you something i own not delivering i hope this is is, is clear now the second point and this is very important I, I want people to watch carefully and listen carefully in the Quran all mankind are sinners and no one is holy I challenge any Muslim to say this is not true and you know what even Muhammad himself is not holy and he is a sinner as an example and there is many surah in the Quran saying Muhammad is a sinner this is Surah 48 and verse number 2. Uh, by the way, the translation of the word sin in English and here they are having it as false. You know, God don't forgive. There is no need to uh, forgive me for false. God will ask me to repent for sin only, not false. Like what fault? Like I was writing a document and uh, uh, I made uh, a grammar mistake what fault mean there's no fault and here the word them back and the word uh, 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 them 
it is and have one meaning sin not false so Allah will forgive thee which means Muhammad from what from his sin of the past and those who follow Allah has given open license to Muhammad to be filthy I will forgive you for your past sin and for your coming sin here we go this is how we can expose Muslims lies and translation this is the official tafsir of uh, uh, Ibn Kathir Muslim website not official government but this is uh, a Muslim website tafsir.com it's very well known you can go there and you can go to Surah 48 and you will go with the first verse and second verse is going to be the following so what it says let us see what the translation there and with the explanation to saying and as you see I'm not explaining I'm not translating this is your Muslim translation that Allah may may forgive you for sins not faults you see it you see it guys sins not fault for the past in the past and the future and complete his favor on you and guide you on the straight path which mean Muhammad is lost because the one who need guidance you know if if I say the sentences in here alone you know God by a guide me so what what a big deal yeah that's true but in here he's talking about his sin he is going to forgive him for his past sin and for coming sin so Muhammad he was a sinner and he is still a sinner and he will be a sinner in the future do you see it now the man who have sin in the past in the present and in the future he is not holy this is why we mentioned this right to prove that even Muhammad is not holy so Muhammad is not holy and all Muslims they have to agree with this and not only not holy he is a sinner which means he's a filth he's doing a lot of filth because if I am a prophet of God you know uh, okay I did mistakes in my in my past and I found God now what is the reason for me to keep doing sin and why God is giving me open license to do sin you know I will make a video about this to show you something maybe you did not notice but after I finish this one so if we go back to uh, 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 the one talking about uh, uh, Mary this one and here you will see that Jesus is the only one in Islam is called the Holy Son now Jesus is a son of who at that second he is not even a son to Mary because she's not pregnant yet he's just telling her what will happen but he is a holy son already which means he is holy before even he became a man he is holy in every meaning to the word holy and guys simple question easy can the holy do sin absolutely not we, sh we showed you that Muhammad is a sinner the best man in the history of Islam is a sinner Jesus is not a sinner he is holy and this is from their Quran not from my book so when you say Jesus is holy you cannot say to me Jesus is just a prophet because there is no prophet is holy only God is holy I mean no human no man no one is holy but Jesus Christ is holy and he's been called in here the Holy Son and remember in here he was not even a son yet to Mary but he is a holy son to who to God because Mary she was not a Briton yet, yet how he called him a holy son somebody will say to me he's saying to her you will have a holy son if he is a son of Mary he will not be holy so he is a son of the Lord for us when we say the Son we mean that God when he come to us showing his glory by the man form he is called the Son of God but he is the God himself thank you all Jesus is Lord Islam is false I mean